the Republic of North Macedonia, a small Balkan state with thousands of years of history and culture that borders Bulgaria and Greece, is Europe's last wilderness. In 2019, slightly more than three quarters of a million foreign tourists visited. North Macedonia, a bit off the beaten path for tourists, has some of the most incredible landscapes and historical cities in all of the Balkan countries, and massive infrastructure investments have left them ready to welcome the world. Macedonia's wealth of stunning tourist attractions make it a fantastic, little-known destination with a plethora of amazing things to see and do, despite its often turbulent past. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. In today's video, we will take you on a virtual journey to North Macedonia, and together, we will explore the top 10 things to do in North Macedonia. Number 10. Heraclea Lincestis the city we know today as Bitola was known in the ancient world as Heraclea Lincestis, a city founded in the 4th century BC by Philip II of Macedon, who is the father of Alexander the Great. The ruins of Heraclea Lincestis are located two kilometers from Bitola city center and feature an archeological park with various buildings going back to the city's Roman occupation, like Roman baths, theater, basilicas, etc. The exquisite floor and mosaics representing religious themes from the Byzantine era are unarguably the site's most famous features. It's a must-visit place for history lovers and gives an experience of a lifetime. Number 9. Bay of Bones, the Museum on Water. Bay of Bones is a very interesting place to visit with an intriguing background story. The museum was established after the remains of a prehistoric settlement of pile dwellers who lived literally on top of the water were discovered. It's a detailed recreation of the settlement as archaeologists believe it looked between 1200 and 600 BC. From the city of Ohrid, the museum is around 14 kilometers away. The slightly dramatic name Bay of Bones represents the numerous animal remains and fragmented vessels discovered here. A small, interesting exhibition of some of the relics is on the beach, including an intriguing wall-sized photograph of the settlement foundations as they appear now underwater. Number 8. Khrushchevo The name Khrushchevo means place of pear trees in Macedonian. It is the highest town in North Macedonia and one of the highest in the Balkans, rising more than 1,350 meters above sea level. Khrushchevo also has a few other distinctions that make it one of the must-see small towns in North Macedonia. It was not only the site of the legendary Linden uprising against Ottoman rule, but is also arguably the best place in the country to see well-preserved houses from the 18th and 19th centuries. Khrushchevo is a short day trip from nearby Prilip, but those interested in slow travel may want to stay for a couple of nights. It has a historic old bazaar, some incredible heritage architecture, and a group of traditional craftspeople. Number 7. The Vineyards Along River Varda North Macedonia is home to some beautiful vineyards. While we recommend Sopat, most of the others will also do a good job of reminding you of an old Italian vineyard. You can try various Macedonian wines while gazing out over a field of grapes and enjoying the golden sunset. Tikvesh, Stobi, and Popova Kula are a few other notable wineries. The majority of them are close to one another and relatively close to the town of Prilip. If you have the energy, you can combine a trip to the Marble Lake with a relaxing afternoon at one of the vineyards. Enjoy the sunset, a glass of Macedonian red, and a surprisingly affordable stay in a traditional Macedonian ethno apartment. The cost of living in Macedonia is extremely low, which may entice you to stay a little longer and explore even more of the country. There are numerous places to visit and experiences to be had. Number six. Popova Shapka Popova Shapka is the most well-known winter sports and recreation center in Macedonia. From October to May, it has a number of sunny days and snow cover, suitable for all types of skiing. It is especially appealing to both professional and recreational skiers, but even if you are a total novice, 
we recommend you visit this place. Popova Sapka has 300 square kilometers of beautiful ski slopes. Popova Sapka is one of Macedonia's oldest and largest ski resorts, dating back to 1947 and located on the slopes of Shar Mountain, one of the highest mountains in the country. Shar Mountain has many peaks that rise above 2,500 meters above sea level, making the ski resort quite appealing. Number five, Matka Canyon. Canyon Matka, located just 15 kilometers southwest of Skopje, is a lovely day trip from the capital. Visiting Matka Lake, which is surrounded by the steep walls of a dramatic gorge, is the ideal outdoor experience for nature lovers. Most visitors come to Canyon Matka to rent a boat and tour the caves before eating the traditional Macedonian cuisine at the Canyon Matka Hotel and Restaurant. The Matka Canyon cover over 5,000 hectares of land and offer some of the best canyoning adventures in Europe for adventurers and nature enthusiasts. The complex not only contains 10 natural caves, ideal for exploring on foot or by climbing, but it also contains a number of medieval buildings, including ruined monasteries and the remains of the ancient town of Matka. The Matka Canyon, with its glass-like turquoise waters and craggy gorges, easily provides some of the best scenery in the country and beyond. Number four, Galicica National Park. The stunning Galicica National Park, located between Lakes Ored and Prespa, is a wild and wonderful place to visit. Hiking through unspoiled valleys, forests, and mountains will undoubtedly delight nature lovers. The national park is dominated by the Galicica Limestone Massif that lies between the two lakes and is home to a number of high peaks. The views from their peaks of the surrounding countryside are breathtaking. Galicica's national park natural beauty is well worth seeing when in Macedonia, with picturesque little mountain villages, an abundance of fantastic fauna and flora, and a diverse landscape that includes lakes, mountains, and valleys. Number three, Mavrovo region. The village of Mavrovo is located deep within the national park, right next to a beautiful lake. You can taste traditional Macedonian cuisine from farm to table while admiring postcard-worthy panoramic views. The sunken church is an attraction in its own right, and if you go during low tide, you can even walk inside and explore the interior. If you're feeling brave, you can sign up for an afternoon of horseback riding or tandem paragliding flights. This place is a perfect combination of nature, relaxation, and adventurous things to enjoy. Hey! Number two, Ohrid. The main settlement is located on Lake Ohrid, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This historic town is one of the most interesting and visually stunning travel destinations in the country. The town has been inhabited since ancient times by the Greek Decelerate and the Illyrian tribes, and its architecture dates back to the 4th century BC. Samuel's Fortress, one of the area's most fascinating ruins, was built during Tsar Samuel's reign to protect the town from invaders during the First Bulgarian Empire. Ohrid is a picture-perfect area, alive with things to do and places to see, from the winding cobbled alleys and quaint restaurants of the old town to the orange-roofed homes and turquoise waters of the lake. Visit during the Ohrid Summer Festival to see the town at its liveliest. Number 1. Skopje When you arrive in Macedonia, you will first find yourself in Skopje. This is the country's largest administrative and commercial center, and it's home to nearly one-third of the Macedonian population. Needless to say, this city serves as the gateway to Macedonia and is an attraction in its own right. Along with its abundance of restaurants, shops, museums, and cafes, Skopje has a vibrant nightlife centered on the city's main square. The Porta Macedonia, a massive triumphal arc commemorating 20 years of Macedonian independence, is located in the square. Beautiful views and scenery are also available from the top of Mount Vodno, which looms over Skopje to the southwest and is adorned by the towering Millennium Cross, 
which has become a popular tourist attraction.